Hi, this is Leo Garcia from SixStringJournal.com. Um, this video is uh, part two, I guess, of a series of videos uh, discussing rhythm and bursts in Villa Lobos's etude number one. Um, so over the years, uh, those students who really stick with uh, playing this etude get to the point where they may ask themselves, how can I possibly get it faster? Um, how can I improve my uh, rhythmic precision, my clarity, uh, my control? To address this question, I'd encourage the use of two very valuable tools in uh, technical development. One is rhythms and the other one is bursts. So this video um, uh, will talk about rhythms and there's probably, uh, we can go through, go through the most basic uh, approach to this but it's still, um, it can be expanded into many uh, different ways. Um, assuming you're at the point where you've uh, ingrained the right hand pattern, uh, which uh, you can look at uh, my, my first video discussing some of the patterns or read the article on our on sixstringjournal.com. But uh, assuming you have your right hand pattern down and your favorite right hand pattern down, even though you could still use rhythms with other patterns, uh, here are some ways to practice and incorporate uh, some common and maybe some uncommon rhythms into your practice of this study. So first one, uh, simply uh, starting off with dotted notes can be a useful way to practice. So let's pick one of the somewhere in here. So the pattern as you just to review. So if we want to use dotted notes, we could play benefit of doing this um, is that you're starting to force yourself to think in pairs instead of in single notes. That's one, one advantage to doing this. Also is that it gives you ample time to both work on playing uh, two notes very quickly, but then it gives you a time to rest and recover, but also prepare what comes next. So you would do plant index or whatever finger you're going to use and then and now you plant index again plant M so you would go little by little and plant each successive group so you're training in the preparation um, so that would be a dotted eighth note and a sixteenth note. So you can just flip that, do a sixteenth note and a dotted eighth. And there you would plant after uh, the long note. So just to re re recap uh, the idea of using dotted notes, you could start off. Sorry. You could start off. would be to do okay moving on next group of rhythms triplets this is a weird one because uh, it doesn't really align with our um, with our meter. However, uh, doing a pattern of sixteenth notes in triplet form brings your attention to notes that often go unnoticed a little bit uh, as you practice. We're always focusing on the beat, uh, perhaps, or maybe we're focusing on just getting the fingering sometimes. 
but um, once you have the pattern, you can play it pretty consistently and straight. Using triplets to just open up your ear sometimes helps. So you could do... your um, your hand or even just listen and uh, and make sure that you can control each note as it